Not too much traffic out here. <laughs> Aerodynamics for us are crucial. The main reasons, the car performance, but also in terms of driving dynamics. Huh? We need this vertical aerodynamic force to push the car towards the road, allowing us faster cornering. And also in terms of comfort, the wind and aeroacoustics is also important for us to avoid some disturbing noises. We're also using hydrodynamic. The boats are really hydrofoiling now, so they sail up on the foils and you know, with water being a thousand times more dense than air, if we can reduce the drag by getting the big hull out of the water, then we can use the suction force off the sails to pull us forward. That is really why the America's Cup AC75 class yachts are just so fast. We need this uh, lower point of the, the rear spoiler to narrow also the design at the rear, but it's also important what is happening at the front. For example, in this Cupra Terra Mar, we have in the front bumper two openings on the side to create a vortex to have a better airflow around the side yeah, to improve the, the behavior in terms of aerodynamics. So that, I think, is really, really similar to America's Cup yacht design. You're, you're trying to minimize the drag out the back, you're trying to maximise your forward thrust in, in our case. So from a, a sailboat design perspective and a car perspective, you're designing for efficiency, performance, comfort and speed. I guess in a more of a race environment, you're designing more for performance. You sacrifice a little bit of the comfort, but as we're sitting now in this beautiful, comfortable car cruising around the marina in Barcelona, it's yeah. how awesome it is to be here in a car floating on the water. Thanks Good for day. having me in your wonderful car. It's been a really fun morning.